Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. I'm allergic to fake cinnamon flavour like you get on a Tic Tac. Are you? I didn't know that. Yeah. You shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry, because I have an EpiPen. Specifically, my mum's expired EpiPen. Important that she no longer needs it. Yeah, I didn't just like nick it from her. No, she, <laughs> so when she needs it, she doesn't need. I've only really seen them in films and TV, people stabbing each other with adrenaline and, and things, but I've never seen one up close. I don't really have any friends or family with a severe nut allergy. That's lucky. Is it nuts usually? Uh, Is it anything? Any sort of anaphylactic issue? I think it's anaphylactic issues like that, yeah. Bee you know, sting? I, I actually made my mum allergic to nuts. It was my fault. How could you? I didn't do it on purpose. I was literally less than one year, like I was in her, I was, she was pregnant with me. Oh, okay. And the hormones changed her body oh. and she became allergic to nuts, like deathly allergic. That's mental. Isn't it? Yeah. Didn't know that was possible. We got sidetracked there a little bit. Let's go and film an EpiPen. Yeah, let's do it. All right, here's a little ballistic gel setup. Have you ever used one of these before? I've not, thankfully. Um, I know that my mum has used them. So, uh, but the instructions are pretty simple. Take off this outer sleeve, remove the yellow cap, and then, I'm not going to do it, but you push at 90 degrees for like 10 seconds and uh, that injects the, the juice. I've actually got no idea how far in this will go. I will say that I don't know how hard I'm going to have to push it in because a thigh is a lot more solid than this gel. So just, I'm hoping. Just ram it home. Yeah. All right, probe is on. Let's get a real close up. Nice not... and tight. Okay, go for it. <laughs> it looks gruesome. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. <laughs> it looks like a. It looks like all that insect footage of like a, yeah, a wasp injecting an ant or something. Like a proboscis going into yeah. something. It's very, uh, it's very Starship Troopers. Yeah, isn't it? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Gosh. You can see the liquid shooting out. You see it like bubbling. Yeah, it's like, it's wounded the gel look where it's gone in. And then you can see the opening hole. Luckily, the pen was tilted so that you can see the physical liquid coming out. That was pure luck, but there's some air in there. Yeah, that's good. The, the, it's needle up so you can see the channel that the liquid's coming through. I think the air has been brought in with the needle through and that's where it's like that bit there. in the gel. Oh, it really expands it, doesn't it? Why does it lean back at the last minute? Is that the, that's that's, the retraction of yeah, the clip? Yeah, it's the springs. Like, obviously you have to bring that part back to shoot the needle forwards. Does that mean you can calculate the speed it was going? Definitely. I'm just in the edit here doing some measurements. The needle is 15 millimeters long. Here's the end of the needle under a microscope. If you're interested in seeing the little channel that the liquid comes through. It's hard to get across how small this needle is because I'm, I keep showing huge close-ups of it, but you can barely see the end of it. For scale, here's me bashing the edge of a pound coin into it. Based on the needle length of 15 millimeters and the frame rate of 4,000 frames a second, I can calculate that the needle is traveling at 6.7 meters per second, which is about 15 miles an hour. 13, 14. It like stops and carries on. It has so much momentum. It's, it's like the thing goes back, the needle shoots out, which causes the whole pen to like lurch forward again. Yeah. It's like <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't mess about, does it? And I love that we can see the actual liquid flowing in. It's quite a lot, isn't it? That's a hell of an invention. If you need something right this second, just good stuff. <laughs> That'll save your life. Yeah. That little bit of juice in there can save someone's life. What did your mum say it felt like? I have to ask her. She probably won't answer because she's a boomer. Oh, it retracts too. So when it, when it, it has a relief of pressure, it just sucks back in for safety reasons. I guess so. So you don't like twist it in your leg or whatever. Yeah, see it's pulling back in now. So it goes poof and then comes back. Yeah. It is instant. It doesn't mess about, does it? It's not as like big and epic compared to like a lot of stuff we do, but that's really interesting. It's kind of like the uh, trank dart, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it's Monday at eight. That's fine. No, I'll try John. <sighs> Blanked B. B, I told you, she's a boomer. <laughs> She doesn't answer the phone, don't be silly. <laughs> not a boomer, me. She's actually not a boomer. Well, oh, whatever these are, Gen... Gen X. Gen X. Oh! <laughs> B. <laughs> All right, well, hang on a second. Look at I think something's wrong. You're gonna have to ring the landline, B. <laughs> they don't have a landline, actually. Don't they? No. That's very un-boomer of them. It is. I love the idea of this being a 
expensive international call. Yeah, not pissing about here. I want to know. Come on, John. I'm going to fade to black and be like, Dan's mum never answered. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is taking up most of the video. This stupid banner while I'm trying to get a hold of my... Right. Got one more option. Well, they'll see that I've called them. Assume someone's dead. Hello. Hi, mate. Uh, are, you a, are you at Mum's? Yeah, man. Is, is she there? Uh, she, yeah, she's in the lounge. Can you pass her to me, please? Sorry, mate. Uh, I need my phone in a minute. I'll get her to call you, though. Yeah, if you, well, just get her to look at her phone. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That's my brother. Open with the fact that we're recording her. So she knows. No, it's way funnier if she doesn't know. Oh, God. If I tell her she's being recorded, she'll go all like, ooh, and be all funny. All right, but you have to tell her after then. Yeah, of course, yeah. Why do you only get one video done today? Well, we're waiting for Dan's mum to pick up for half the day. Hiya, is, uh, Hi, Dan. Hiya, is mum there? Yeah, yes. Yes. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Okay, fine. Thank you. Good. Good. Um, I just had a question for you, actually. Um, okay. You know your EpiPens? Yes. Yeah. What does it feel like when they're injected? Just like a, just like a sting. Just a sting. Does doesn't like hurt any more yeah. than a. Yeah, the new ones have a, a shorter needle, so it just feels like a bee sting, really. How, how long does it take to sort of take effect? Pretty much seconds, because, of course, it hits your adrenaline, because it is adrenaline, so it's pretty much... So I can go from being quite poorly to being reco feeling like I'm recovering within 15, 20 minutes. Oh, right, wow. But it's like the seconds it starts to feel better, and then 20 minutes later you're just fine. Not just fine, but you feel like you're you're recovering. But I still have, um, I feel very, you, you then have a very, you go into a downer because of course, um, the sort of, like an any adrenaline, you, your body goes hyper and then you have a sort of come down and so you feel very, very tired. Right, okay, so it's, so like, is it on like GTA 3 where you have a bit of adrenaline <laughs> and then like everything slows down around you because you're just, all about it moving so quickly you can just be like <laughs> the, the trouble is when you take it you 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 are mid an anaphylactic fit or, or you feel one's going to be coming on yeah well yeah and so you, you 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 suffer um a morbidity you, you, you think you're going to die and you have a panic attack <laughs> so i suppose <laughs> my goodness me all right <laughs> Well, wow. so you know, that, that, and, and you, you stick it in you, and you just feel the heartbeat going. But that could be the panic attack, or it could be, sure, you know. I say, what you're telling me is you've never tried it without being actually in an anaphylactic shock. No, all right, we're actually filming a video right now. Is it okay if uh, if I have what you just said on the video? Yes, you... of course. All right, cool. Yeah, we're just filming it in ballistic gel to see what it looks like when it goes into your body. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks very much for your help. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> cool. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Love you. Oh, that was cute. I think that's our first uh, interview. Live. It is, yeah. She did well. Yeah, we did. she did really well. <laughs> I'm going to write out this video. Slow-mo of EpiPen plus 10-minute conversation <laughs> with Dan's mum. People will stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Excellent. All right. Good info. Well, much like our... Uh, tranquilize the dark video that was really interesting yeah i like the uh, probe angle it was really yeah. tight just shows you everything you need to know in one shot yeah it's that fast it squirts that much goes out again it's a cool design it's really cool yeah I, I remember there was a problem with ones in the army where people would inject the people they needed to to do it with their thumb on the end and oh, they would, the they would get yeah they said so oh. they would get hit with the morphine oh. your medic takes a shot of morphine to yeah. the thumb yeah that's not what you want not ideal hopefully you enjoyed that video make sure you subscribe if you like slow-mo and here's another video for you to watch, which probably won't be 60% a phone call with Dan's mum. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, just start a new channel. Just... For all your phone calls? Yeah, just chat to my mum. <laughs>